Hello everyone, Parallel here, and welcome to Blade and Soul. Well, there is a new patch out today. It is a rather minor patch, but it does have some nice changes in here and a couple of new features. So let's take a look at it. This is actually the 2.5.2 patch. It is a follow-up to the Desolate Tomb patch, which was a pretty major content patch a few weeks back. Now, you might have noticed this cute little guy hovering above my shoulder, and that is one of the new pets available in this patch. It is actually the Otter Pet. Finally, they have released it. They teased this pet quite a long time ago, honestly, when they first announced pets, but uh, he was never available until today. So you can finally get your hands on this little guy. And he is completely awesome. So I thought I'd start off by just showing a few of his animations so you can get kind of a look at him here. So let's go ahead and pan around just so you can see, take a look at his model. Now this is just the base pet. I have not leveled him up at all, so he doesn't have any of the uh, you know, particle effects or any of the new little outfit pieces that you get as you level him up. But he is still pretty awesome, and he does come with the cute little red bow tie <laughs> out of the box. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at some of his animations, because they are pretty awesome. Now, this one is just, you can kind of see just his running animation. Just at the regular speed there. And then let's, uh, let's go ahead and do the sp sprinting animation here, <laughs> which looks pretty hilarious kind of waddles along. Let's see if I can do it again here. Yep. <laughs> Pretty hilarious. Now, he does have one really incredible animation that I have to show you, which is completely hilarious. I'm going to go over here and get a little bit of uh, a little bit of height just to show you this one because it is the gliding animation and it is pretty fantastic. Alright, so let's... Uh, Let's see if I can get a good shot of this. Oh, there it is. The gliding animation. Now, if I zoom in a little bit, he kind of fades out. But you can see there he's holding a fish and he kind of chomps on it as you glide. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Let me try it one more time here. Just so you can get a good look at it. You must equip a weapon. So there you go. There is the little animation for gliding. He just sits there and gnaws on a fish while you glide. That is that is just absolutely amazing. Now I did notice he actually has a animation when you're backing up. So let's take a look at it, <laughs> which is pretty funny as well. Looks like he's almost doing the backstroke or something. Is he holding a... Oh, he's like holding like a, a clam or something. That's pretty funny. So there you go. He gets a clam when you're walking backwards. And he gets to eat on a fish while you glide. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So yeah, not gonna lie. Definitely the best pet out there. He looks awesome. So that is the Otter Pet. Now, along with the Otter Pet, there is actually a bunch of... Uh, well, not a bunch, but a whole new system around pets, and that is the new legendary pet system that was introduced with this patch. Let's pull up the UI here, and uh, yeah, let's see. Let's bring up the market here, so you can actually see here, here is the, um, well, that's actually a griffin. Um, so tamed. Now, you can pick up this otter on the uh, market. They are for sale here. You can see they're down to about 72 gold, which is actually a pretty reasonable price, honestly. And I think, uh, you know, thanks to the legendary pet system that just came out, um, I think a lot of people are binging on pet pouches right now. So it's probably a pretty good time to buy, actually. Um, pretty reasonable price. But the, okay, so the legendary pet system. Now this is probably why so many people are buy, buying crazy amounts of pet pouches right now. And that is because you now have the ability to upgrade your pet past rank 10 
and then you can actually get it all the way up to legendary. So let's go through the actual patch notes here and see how it works, because it all works through transmutation. So basically, you have to get first. You have to get your pet up to stage ten, right? So you have to get uh, he has to be maxed out first. Then you can combine him with um, through the. Uh, let's take him off for a second here. Now if you transmute him. So here it is. The request is complete. Let's see. Awakened pet stage 10. Okay, so what you actually... Okay, so let me continue reading here. There's actually another step in here. So once you get it to stage 10, you have to then transmute it along with three heroic pets, five pet enhancement stones, and 15 gold. And that will actually upgrade it to an awakened pet. Then you have to take the awakened pet upgrade that all the way to stage 10 then you can put the awakened pet stage 10 into here add three more of your uh purple pets along with five pet enhancement stones then it will be finally upgraded no sorry 15 pet enhancement stones and 30 gold and then you will finally get the legendary pet that is an insane amount of grind so, yeah, either get out your pocketbook or get ready to pay a lot of money for pet enhancement stones off the marketplace because that is a ton of grind. But you are eventually rewarded with the legendary pet. Now, let's see here. The legendary pets can receive one of four random traits when you, uh, yeah, so when you, when you get a legendary pet, it will be random which version of a legendary pet you get. Uh, and they're all pretty cool. They all have little graphical differences um, they showed this on the last blade and soul stream if you check that out uh, they did show some of the uh, legendary types and what they look like which is kind of cool but basically it's one of these four types there is the gusty version which gives you a, a random proc which increases movement speed and recovers focus that seems like a pretty amazing uh, effect and the buff lasts for six seconds and has a one minute cooldown. You can also get the loyal type, which has 4,000 HP recovery every two seconds and then increases defense by 500. So kind of a self-heal proc there. The furious type, which applies a debuff to attackers, which decreases their attack power by 10. And once it stacks up to five, it gives you additional debuff. It it decreases attack power by 50, block by 500, and evasion by 500. Kind of an interesting proc. I, I'm not quite sure if I like that one as much as the other ones. Um, but still, still interesting. And then finally, the ultimate pet, which is the fourth type. Basically, it combines all of those procs into one. So the ultimate pet is obviously the best. Now, once you do get your legendary pet created, you can actually... Um, re-roll basically so you can uh, let's put him back in here <laughs> let's do that one more time I uh, that is the summon animation which is pretty cute as well it gives you a nice little salute <laughs> that's awesome okay but anyway the uh, legendary pet um, you can re-roll them so if you don't get the type that you want you can uh, you can try again. So basically, you can, again, go through the transmute with three heroic pets, three enhancement stones, and 15 gold to re-roll to one of the other random traits. Once you get the ultimate pet, you can't re-roll anymore. And I think that pretty much covers it for legendary pets. So if you want one, prepare to grind. They give a crap ton, I believe like 25,000 hit points or something ridiculous like that, and a ton of defense. So they are incredibly powerful, and uh, but yeah, they are a grind. I mean, that is a serious grind right there. All right, if you just want the regular uh, rolled otter pet, it's not a big deal. You can get him right from the um, the normal pet pouch. Let me go ahead and go to details, and you can see there you go, untamed otter pet. 
he is probably the more rare role, but you know, as you saw when I pulled up the marketplace, his price is not too bad, so he, not too hard to get a hold of one. All right, so that is the new pet system. And there are actually a couple other pretty significant changes here, so let's keep going. Now, the first thing here, well, second thing here, is actually a pretty major change, and this was something they've been hyping up for a while now, because um, they actually took the Daily Dash out of the game a while back uh, during the uh, Treasure Trove event, and they said, we're working on you know a cool change to the Daily Dash to make it more rewarding for uh, subscribing players. So if you have a premium subscription, now you have some pretty cool new features with the new and improved daily dash. So let's take a look at the new improved daily dash. And here it is. Now, they made some really good changes here. So let's go through them here. So um, the first big change here is that now you have a basically premium bonus. Uh, what do they call these things? premium bonus slots that you land on. And if you randomly land on one of these special slots here with the uh, border and the star on them, it gives you a special secondary effect. Now this special secondary effect, there's a couple different things it can do. And there's actually a blog that they made on this uh, in their uh, on their website which I'm going to pull up here so I can just quickly go through them. It's a couple nice little things. Basically, there's a secondary special effect. So once you land on that square, you get the reward initially, but then you get a random chance of, like, it looks like, let's see, five different possible rewards. Um, and let me just read them off here. One of them is advanced to start. So collect the reward and then proceed to start. So basically it completes the entire rest of the board for you. And as you know, when you get back to the start, you know, when you get back to the start, you get your, uh, the reward for completing the board, which is another new feature that's really, really nice, how they're doing the uh, board completion reward, which is this new loyalty insignia. But we'll get into that in just a moment, and we'll see the rewards for that. But that is one of the effects, so the advance to start. And the next one is the double your reward, so it will double the whatever item you got from landing there. Kind of cool. The next one is complete one round, which is collect the reward and then make a full rotation of the board, collecting the loyalty insignia on the way and then returning to your current spot. Now that's even better. So that's even better than the advance to start because it goes all the way through the start and gets you back to where you were. Um, then the next one is a, a surprise prize. In addition to the reward you landed on, you will also receive a brilliant venture token. Now that's kind of cool. And the next one is double your spin. So this will let you move again for the same number of spaces. So if you roll to three, you will move. Yeah, it will move, claim the reward, and then move three more spaces. Okay, so like if you roll a, a one and you get this one, it'll just give you another space. Kind of the meh reward, I would say, the double spin one there. All the other ones look like a much better reward, particularly those ones that complete the board. And the other one that uh, gives you a brilliant venture token. Hey, that's pretty good. You know, it's a pretty decent chunk of uh, Hongwon coin you can get. Just looking at what they changed as far as items here, I do see they added a whirlwind battle coin here on one of the uh, premium squares. Uh, anything else new in here? I mean, they did add a couple squares with the new refining stones for the new weapon path. That's kind of cool. I'll tell you one thing I'm not seeing. I don't see money venture. I've only seen one venture token on the whole board. That's kind of a bummer. There's usually like three-ish on the previous boards. So that's a little bit of a bummer, I have to say. So yeah, it looks like you're pretty much your standard items here. Nothing too special or new. Just the new uh, refining stones for the weapon path. You can get the twisted orbs, um, but you could get those before, I think. So yeah, pretty standard. Looks like one square of he uh, a couple squares of heavenly energy. 
All right, so let's go ahead and do a spin here. Now, as you can see, I'm using my last spin of the day and I'm hoping for a one, all right? I wanted to, I'd like to actually demo this if possible, but who knows? Come on, one, come on, one, let's do it. It doesn't look like it. Well, dang it. So I didn't land on it, and it's kind of a bummer. And actually looking at the rest of the board here, one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's only six premium um, squares on the board. So honestly, it's, you know, it's a pretty decent chance you're, you're going to totally miss them. It's, it's entirely possible to not hit any of them, even as a premium member. Um, so yeah, let's hope you get lucky and land on them. I'm a little bit bummed I didn't get that. But, uh, but yep. That is the new premium system. Now, when you complete the board, they change the rewards around a bit for this. Now, instead of just getting like a costume or whatever, you get a insignia. And then you, this insignia is actually a currency you can use to buy things from your... Um, there's a new tab in the uh, Dragon Express where you can buy this. So that's kind of cool. So it kind of gives you a more flexible reward. You can actually... You know, choose what you want from the pool of prizes, which is nice. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. But um, basically, if uh, you should be able to complete the board, I would say two or three times. I think if you're premium, probably three times you can easily complete the board. And that means you could get three of these loyalty insignias before this, uh, before the, this daily dash uh, expires. If you are a free member, you still get the uh, ins loyalty insignias for completing a round. So you still get these even if you are not a premium, which is kind of cool. So you can still get the big reward, even though you, you don't get anything special. You know, you don't get the premium squares, but you still get the loyalty insignia, even as a free player. It's just you only get two spins a day, so you probably won't be able to complete the board as many times. If you get lucky, though, I'm pretty sure I, I've seen some calculations out there. You still can complete the board three times, even as a free player. All right, so let's take a look at what you can get for these loyalty insignias. Let's pull up the Dragon Express. So where's the new tab here? Here it is. So pretty cool. There's quite a selection here. Um, you can get the previous costumes here. Um, this Temptation costume, this was actually from the Warlock event. Kind of cool that they've brought it back for people to be able to get it again. And you can get that for one loyalty insignia. So if you just complete the board once, you can get this. Anyone who hasn't seen it before, it is the same. It is that the uh, Warlock event costume that you could get. It's actually a pretty cool looking costume. The only thing that's kind of a bummer is the headphones. I'm not uh, not a big fan of the uh, headphones there, but it does look cool. It even looks pretty cool on the males. It has a cool kind of trench coat matrix look going on there. I like it. The other outfit here is the Regal Diplomat. This was another outfit for one of the previous uh, daily dashes you could get for completing it. It was either the first or second one. It was pretty early on. Definitely one of the more modest outfits in the game. <laughs> I'll say that. But it's pretty cool looking. I like the uh, the dangly bits with the uh, writing on them. Look pretty cool. So that's Regal Diplomat. Now you can also get an excellent experience charm for one. So that's the 100,000 Hongwon XP one. Now here is where the rewards start getting good. So for two, so if you save up your loyalty insignias until you complete two complete daily dash dashes, complete the board twice, you can then get a flawless Hongun crystal. And this one is the uh, Peridot. You can see here it is the attack power 5, 300 HP recovery, and recovers uh, 400 HP over time on evasion. That's not bad. I mean, even free players should be easily able to complete the board twice and get your hands on a flawless Hongun uh, Peridot. That's a really good, really good reward. You can also get your hands on a Flower of Lament. Pretty cool. Now, if you want to save it up and go for broke, go for you know three board completions, you can get your hands on the Flawless Hongmoon Ruby. Very cool. This one is the, um, this one's really, really good. This, this is one of the better crystals out there. It gives you four attack power, but it gives you the two crits. 
uh, trigger on attack. There is an internal cooldown on that that I don't recall what it is, but uh, very good, uh, very good crystal. Also for three, uh, three insignias, you can get a Titan skin or a Stone of Wisdom. Very high end rewards there. Still, if you don't have the uh, Hongwen crystal, I would say go for that for sure. Pretty cool. Now, here's the thing. I don't complete. I don't think unless you get really lucky with the premium memberships, I don't think there's any way you're going to be able to complete uh, five. So I don't think you'll be able to get both crystals. You kind of have to take your pick there. But that is the new system. And I have to say, vast, vast improvement. The premium squares are a nice little addition. Although, yeah, I get the feeling if you're unlucky, you're still going to not... <laughs> There's still a pretty good chance you're going to miss all six of them. There's only six on the entire board, so there is that. But it is still a nice touch. But uh, I also really like how now the reward is a little bit more flexible, and you can, you know, you just collect the insignias, and you can buy whichever reward you actually want. And there's those flawless Hongwen crystals in there, which is a very, very good reward. So huge improvement on the daily dash. Thumbs up on that for sure. Okay, a couple other more minor changes here, but things you should be aware of are a couple little free giveaways that they're doing. Now, when you log in, you're going to want to pull up your store, and you're going to want to pick up, there's a couple little free things, well, not quite free, but just one, one uh, you can get them for one end coin. Are they, can you get these for... Looks like the... Uh, no, you can. You can get it for Hongwon coin as well. All right. So for one end coin or one Hongwon coin, basically free, you can pick up your uh, Master Hong's care package. Now let's take a look at this thing because this thing is pretty awesome. You can only get one of these per account. That's it. One. But look at these rewards. 25 elements of training, 100 Hongwon keys, 100 Hongwon unsealing charms. I mean, that's about 10 gold worth of charms, 10 gold worth of keys. A whole chunk of uh, uh, training elements to rank up your uh, weapons and jewelry. You get a brilliant Hong Moon Moon Water Key and uh, ten hot dragon soups, and you get twenty uh, thirty five silver frost refining stones. Nice little chunk there to help you get you towards your next weapon upgrade. And there is a percentage chance to get um, Hong Moon Searing. Uh, pentagonal amethyst and diamond and i don't know the stats on those honestly but you see all those other items they're not a percent chance you get all of those guaranteed it's just the uh the, the you have a percent chance of the gems nice package nice little just you know <laughs> i mean it's almost totally free you log in boom you got it and if you're a new player like new level 50 player that's a nice boost right there of a lot of uh, you know elements to rank up your weapons. You can get a Hong Moon, Moon Water Key. Lots of good stuff there for helping a new leveling player, that's for sure. So that is the care package. Now, like I said, you can only get that once for your entire account. There is another package they added, which is this Lucky Charm Pouch. Now this one, let's put the details here. This one you can actually get once per account per day for as long as this event is going. So you'll want to again log in each day, spend your one end coin to get this. Now this one, um, in this package, you are guaranteed to get five ordinary experience charms. Kind of cool, nice little bonus. But there's also a percent chance for several other rewards. The um, Silver Frost Refining Stone Bundle. You can get Naryu Tablets. You can get more ordinary experience charms. And you can get the Excellent. And you can get the new Special Hongwon EXP Charm which I, is, I think, 1 million Hongmoon XP, I want to say. I think that's what they said on the stream. And you can get one of these each day. So, hey, pretty cool, right? Nice little bonus. That's actually kind of cool. I, I like that uh, I like that they just added a couple of just random thank you type gifts that are totally free and you can uh, use to help level up. They did add one more thing that is going on during this event and that is they added an extra bonus reward to the daily challenge you see you get this actual uh one little extra bonus here you get three of the, three of these it is a heavenly daily challenge reward chest and you can see we can get out of these here uh keys and charms but there are quite a few nice uh 
possible rewards out here. You can get, of course, the thousand gold reward, which is ridiculously rare, but there's even like a 10 gold or 100 gold. You can get cold storage resets, fabrics. Um, that's actually nice, keeping the price of fabrics down. You can get uh, high quality fabrics. What else we got in here? World One Battle Coins, Naryu Silver, Ivory Dragon Scales, that's good. Honorary Ornaments, and then you can even get a Tykin skin, which is probably absurdly rare, but hey, Again, you just do your daily challenges like you've been with doing, and you get just an extra reward out of it. Pretty cool. So that's a lot of rewards. The daily dash, the the two th the two rewards you can get cheaply, the two pouches you can get from the the store, and then also the daily challenge reward. That is a lot of extra bonus rewards. Just you know, doing what you normally do each day, uh, for you know, for this the duration of this event. Now, uh, just looking through here, speaking of the date of this event. So, yeah, it's running through September 14th, which is today, through October 5th. So you got a good three weeks or so to enjoy all these nice little things. And those are the big things in the patch. Now, there is actually a couple other uh, smaller changes here that are worth noting. Now, this one change here, they did reduce the... The HP and attack values for bosses in Bloodshade Harbor, Naryu Labyrinth, and Avalanche Den. That's kind of a cool change, I think. I know some people don't like it when they nerf content, but, I mean, let's face it, these three are pretty old content at this point. They're, I mean, two of those are level 45 dungeons, and Avalanche Den, I think they're trying to nerf it down to make it a little bit, make it more of a gear-up dungeon for new level 50s. Um... And I think that's a good good idea. I mean, they have a lot of challenging dungeons out now with Desolate Tomb. Um, you know, there's there's already plenty of good. You can go through. I mean, they they've they've got plenty now. Desolate Tomb, Sogan's Lament, Shattered Mass. There's plenty of you know more difficult content now. I think they're feeling okay to go back to some of the really old stuff and nerf it down a little bit, make it easier for new players to gear up. And speaking of making it easier to for uh, new players to gear up, another nice little change that they made is that now a significant amount of weapons and accessories, you know, needed to to upgrade your weapons and do your breakthroughs while you're leveling up, they will now be available through quest rewards and survey rewards. That's really nice. Again, one of the most annoying things to do when you're leveling up is to, you know, have to grind, let's like say, Hydrocar to get your Hydrocar weapon. And, you know, if you get unlucky, you'll have to kill him dozens and dozens of time, times. And, you know, at this point, that's level up content where there's generally no, almost nobody there doing it anymore. So you're going to probably have to solo him. And, you know, it can be pretty discouraging for a new player. So I think this is a good change. I mean, it's gotten to the point now where, you know, level 50... They're just trying to smooth out the experience getting to level 50. There, there's no reason people should have to grind for an upgrade for like a level 40 weapon. It doesn't make any sense, and I totally agree with this change. It's good. Um, it'll definitely help out alts too. I mean, if you want to level up alts, this is a perfect time to do it. I mean, they just decreased in the, in the Desolate Tomb patch. They made some nice changes to decrease the upgrade costs of weapons and added the new weapon path. And now with this change, they made it so you when you level up, you can get the breakthrough weapons much, much easier now. So leveling alts is also very much improved with this patch. So a definite thumbs up on this. It's a good all-around change. Let's take a look at some other changes here. Anything other other changes here worth noting? Um, they did add a leaving penalty to Whirlwind Valley. Um, I don't play Whirlwind Valley much, but... That's nice. Uh, so people can't drop. Now it says if you drop during the match, you will lose rating. So that's good. Oh, yeah. And uh, Season 5 has started for 1v1 Arena. So if you want to give a new season a try and try to grind your way up to, you know, up through the rankings, uh, now's the time to do it with the fresh start with uh, Season 5. Anything else here? A couple other nice little changes, actually. Enlightened accessories. So these are the uh, 
enlightened accessories you need to break through uh, all of your uh, jewelry. Is it si true siren jewelry? I'm not recalling, but now those will are a guaranteed drop for Mushin's uh, tower floors four through seven. It used to be a random drop, so some of the times it was a pain to get the one you needed. Like, to, you know, if you needed the ring, it might be a pain to get it. Honestly, I didn't have much problem with that, but at this point, like I said, Mushin's Tower, you know, the lower floors are pretty old content at this point. It's level 45 stuff. So I think that, you know, they just want you to run it once or twice to go through it, and you, then you can get all of your enlightened accessories you need for your breakthroughs. Again, another nice change just to reduce the grind and get you right up to level 50 faster. And it looks like that's about it. What can I say? Honestly, for a minor, quote-unquote, minor patch, I mean, there's no major new content here. But this is actually a really good patch. I mean, they fixed a lot of issues here. A lot of issues with new players, you know, leveling up and having to grind, improving the leveling experience, smoothing it out so you don't... I mean, yeah, it doesn't make sense. You should not have to, you know, grind for level 40 to 45 weapon upgrades it just doesn't make any sense anymore there's so much content at level 50 now you don't need to do that and i i totally agree with all of these changes in the patch it's it's very nice it kind of shows that you know finally they are listening i think one of the the major points of this game is just the grind at end game and how how bad it is uh for upgrading all of your equipment upgrading your weapons and it, you know this kind of changes here shows that they're listening. It's 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 really good. Uh, I'm very uh, encouraged that this you know this makes it seem like the devs are listening. That the uh, um, you know NCSoft West is listening and they're taking player feedback and they're actually making positive changes. So good stuff, good stuff. I like it. So that is it for patch 2.5.2. I hope you found this informative. And let's take a, one more look here at the Otter Pet because he is so damn cute <laughs> before we close the video out here. Definitely get your hands on one of these little guys. They are awesome. But that is it, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.